so students today we will do the multiplication of decimals okay so very simple the first uh, uh, question we have to do that is uh, simply multiply by 10 100 or 1000 okay so here what we have to do that we just have to follow a simple rule okay and that is what just see the first question okay here if we multiply 19.78 by 10 okay so what we do what do we do simply we multiply it then uh, just count the zero on the on the second number okay whole number so it is one zero okay so our decimal will shift towards right one place because it has only one zero so our decimal will shift only one place towards right so that is it okay now before the multiplication decimal was before seven now it's after seven okay so it shifted one plus one plus because it contains one zero similarly it contains in the question number b two zero so it will be it will be shipped to uh, shifted to the next two decimal places okay that is 4.916 then multiplied then decimal comes up before six which was before nine decimal point displaced from two places so similarly you can do the rest on your own here it's three so it will be shifted to three places that is one nine and eight then it will be for two so that is two okay so the rest can be done i hope you understood it very well or you can do this um, means to say if you have to if you have to understand it very well then uh, come to the question of exercise 1a uh, it, it is multiplied by 10 okay either you can uh, follow the rules uh, which we studied a moment ago or you can do like this since we know that uh, any decimal can be represented as the fractions okay so it's uh, 3.762 can be written as like this because how many places of uh, uh, decimal it is kept so it is uh, before three digits so it will be written one with three zero then one zero and zero cancel okay so the remaining is 100 only so when we multiply by any number by 100 then just simply the count the zeros in the denominator and put it before the number of digits so it is two two zeros so before two digits we will put the decimal okay that is 37.62 or <coughs> the rule we studied can be followed also that is 3.762 into 10 then just uh, uh, shift the decimal the after one place that is th it will be before six now it's before seven so 37.62 okay multiply the we know that the value of zero is nothing after a decimal okay so we can remove the zero do not uh, worry about that okay so i hope you can do the rest on your own now now the second is <coughs> multiplication of uh, of a decimal by a decimal means to say both decimals have to be multiplied together so for this you have to do just uh, multiplication and the rules is suppose we have to multiply these two then we just have to multiply them as a whole number forget about the decimal point okay for a bit you can forget the decimal point then just multiply as you do usually then you get the product uh, okay this but then remember that there was decimal here before three digit and here before one digit so the total number of digit uh, which uh, decimals has to be has to be put that is four places okay three one two three and one four it's four places so you have to put that decimal in the product after four places oh, sorry before four places so we can do this by the questions of exercise that is question number three the two can be done as like one okay so we will proceed for question number three so here it is 6.0282 into 23 so see very simple how i did it 
we just multiplied 608 to 23 okay so uh, we know that uh, multiply to two numbers then we get 39886 okay now we had forgot about a decimal but now we remembered again it that there was in the one number then uh, there was a decimal before three digits okay so in the product we have to place decimal before three digit from right side so that is one two three put the decimal and your answer is has been come okay i hope it's very simple i repeat just what uh, <coughs> simply multiply these two numbers forget about the decimal for a moment okay and when you find the product by doing this okay then count the digit uh, before decimals that is three then do this in the product also that is count the digits before three one two three when you vote in the case of in the case of both decimals okay when you multiply both decimals then simply find the product as we do 7 12 36 forget about the decimals and then count the decimals in the numbers that is here it is before two digit and one digit that is two plus one three digits so in the product we will count three digits from right side to put the decimals one two three okay it was one and it was one two so one two and one three so one two three so thus you can do this similarly you have to do the rest question from your own okay? and that is one two three four so it's your homework